Take one. Actually, I only do one take. Three, two, one, mark. Hey, buddy. Good morning. So it actually is Saturday today, right? Yes, today is Saturday. So this video has been requested a lot, but as always, let me start off with an apology because I asked you your opinion and then I didn't listen to it. In, one of, in my very first reaction video, I asked you all in a poll what I should watch first. And the number one answer was The Most Beautiful Life Goes On by the Asian Theory. I think it was like 29%. And then it was a tie for second, 26% with This Is BTS by X Celeste and an introduction to the seven members of BTS by Ida S. I had to go with my gut and I don't know why my gut says this. I really, I, I don't know, but I felt drawn to this one. And maybe it's because it's the first one that, that somebody mentioned, I don't know. Cause I haven't seen anything. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, I told you every first that I have with BTS will be on camera. And I think aside from the very first time that I saw them, which was on a TV commercial for a cell phone, um, every first you've seen, and that goes all the way back to Beat Saber. Man, and I'm gonna do more of those videos. A lot of you have been asking, yes, I am going to do them. I've just been recovering from an injury, from virtual reality. Go figure. Yeah. Okay, so right to it. Today we are watching X Celeste's This Is BTS, an introduction to BTS. So I'm hoping by the end of this, now the video itself, I'm looking at it, is 15 minutes and 37 seconds. We know, me, I kind of blow through it. I don't say a lot of things. So it'll probably be like 16 minutes, you know? It won't be like 45 minutes, nah. Let's get to it, shall we? How many of you have heard of BTS? Who is BTS? And why are they so popular? BTS is a seven-member group from South Korea. While the words boy band are often associated with the image of screaming teen girls, that is far from reality. First, there's nothing wrong with being a young person showing love for something you enjoy. But what if I told you about 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 21% are in their 40s. Take a closer look at this age and gender demographic for BTS's 2020 Map of the Soul ticket sales. Females aged 25 and up made 46% of web traffic, and 31% were males. BTS's fans, named ARMY, will often tell you BTS is not your typical boy band, and why? To get a better understanding, let us go back to the beginning. BTS was created by Okay, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to use my shortcuts. Beautiful. All right. We're going to we're going to do this. We're going to do a piece of this. Rap monster. Real me. The president Nam June. Jimin. J Hope Hobie The Ray of Sunshine Sunshine Face What did you guys say? Ray of Sunshine? Alright, that's three. I feel confident with those three. And I know I'm gonna regret that last statement. But I'm sticking to it for now. And 
I totally thought he was checking his phone. I was like, that's a bold move. <laughs> to get a better understanding, let us go back to the beginning. BTS was created by Big Hit Entertainment, whose mission statement is music and artist for healing. The company, and namely their CEO, Bang Shi Hyuk, wanted BTS to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with. Not immaculate idols groomed amid studio culture, but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world. Which is why BTS stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan, Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Pa That's not the first time I've heard that. I heard that in the, uh, I read that in the comments, I think on one of my first episodes of this series. And I mean, even just text on the screen, it took my breath away. Bulletproof Boy Scouts. I think that's so cool. Okay, so Bangton meaning to be resistant to bullets. So it means to block out stereotypes. See, this is the tricky part for me. I'm looking at the visuals and I'm hearing the, the voiceover, but I gotta really pay attention to what she's saying. I mean, to block out stereotypes. And these are the kinds of things that these are the messages that we have talked about in the comments and um, man, so much positivity. But I know that's not always the case. You guys have also been talking about the BTS hardships, which I am going to watch and I'm really looking forward to watching it, but I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, I need to get through these three introductions to the group and the members before I go on to hardships. Is that the case? Tell me in the comments. Pangtan meaning to be resistant to bullets, so it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations that are aimed at adolescents like bullets, to preserve the value and ideals of today's adolescents. Mm. In 2017, BTS rebranded their name and logo representing their growth and maturity, extending the meaning to beyond the scene. The new door-inspired logo symbolizes youth who don't settle for their current reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve. I love that so much. Symbolizes youth who don't settle for their own or for their current reality, reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve growth. Oh, I love that so much. Some of you have been checking out my older YouTube stuff. I used, I did a couple other series, really small stuff, just because I was trying to process through some things and I was trying to figure out, you know, critically think and, okay, well, how do I feel about this? I'm going to use this data to find out this and come to my own conclusion. And one of the episodes I did in a series called Noise was talking about red pill moments. And that was, you know, having these moments where you, you have this reality, you have this understanding of something and then all of a sudden it's like you took the red pill referring to the matrix where it's like you're shown behind the curtain you actually see the reality of things versus the blue pill which is like an ignorance is bliss kind of thing so this even this quote right here really kind of speaks to me because it's saying you you don't settle for your current reality i love that you've grown BTS debuted on June 12, 2013 with seven members. RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. Did I already mess that up? RM. With seven members. RM, Jin. Jin. Sugar. Sugar. Okay. Sugar is my guy in dope who comes up from behind RM with the enemy, 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 energy, energy. <laughs> I can't get pumped up now. I gotta focus. This is school time. Okay. Sugar. J Hope. J Hope. Jimin, V, and Jungkook. 
Okay. John Cook is the youngest. I know that, right? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I think I called Sugar J Hope or J Hope. Ugh. I'm just going to watch. I'm just going to watch. I don't have to crack the code right now. We're all in this together. All seven members came from different parts of Korea. So at first, living together in a small apartment was a challenge. Their CEO, Bang Shi Hyo, created a method for the boys whenever they got into an argument. Oh. You all are way further into this journey than I am. Obviously, I'm brand new. My gut says, and I, I so hope I'm not wrong here. Listening to him talk. I don't know if it's what he's saying or the or maybe it's the tone of his voice or it's his uh, his his presence, but he feels like a very wise, genuine person. I so hope I'm not wrong in that. I hope there's not some crazy controversy that comes out later. But that in and of itself, that idea of it has to be resolved between all of you. Strengthens the team's bond. Man. Over the years, the boys have come to love each other despite their difference in personalities to the point where they'd feel incomplete with one member missing. They became each other's strength and support and formed a brotherhood. そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
That's because people couldn't believe a group from a small company was selling well, hmm. ignoring the fact that a small company wouldn't have the resources to pull off such a scam. These were just a few of their hardships and struggles. I created a separate video highlighting their past hardships. I'll link that in my description box. Throughout the years, BTS were able to reach impressive milestones while continuing to sing in Korean. They shattered cultural language barriers with music and attracted an international audience. They grew organically by staying true to themselves while building a genuine connection with their fans wow. from around the world. During an era where streaming numbers have gone up and traditional album sales have gone down, BTS has become an industry anomaly. Their latest album, Map of the Soul 7, released February 21, 2020, is the best-selling physical album of the year, and they sold over 500,000 copies in just the United States alone. The biggest kicker? Well, BTS did this without a single bundle. And what does bundle mean? Artists would bundle merchandise or concert tickets with the album sales. For example, a copy of an artist's album, digital or physical, would be included in every t-shirt sale or ticket sold for their concert. These sales would count towards charting numbers and become an industry-wide tactic in the U.S. to help boost sales figures and in effect climb up the billboard charts. In a 2019 New York Times article, they said about half the 39 titles that topped the charts last year. Is that shady? Feels shady. Huh. I had no idea that that was the case. Wow. See, and if there's anything, you're going to learn something about me right now. I, I don't, I just really don't like agendas. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not a politics kind of guy. Um, I even did a rant some of you saw from years ago during one of the U.S. elections. Just a rant on politics and, and not like a, a side of politics per se, but just the idea behind the agenda and the strategy and it's like manipulation. It just feels so dirty and wrong. And, um, and you all know, having watched these episodes, how important authenticity is for me. <sighs> yeah, strategy. And, and so these guys did it without doing that. That's, that's amazing. I mean, I don't want to get further into that because I know it's not the point but that just, the fact that they overcame it outside of that and not using that strategy and using authenticity and the album spoke for itself, rock on. Were sold as part of ticket or merchandise bundles. Without the help of bundles and driven by the power of armies alone, BTS were able to beat a lot of historic records, such as Michael Jackson's 36-year record wow. and the Beatles' 22-year record. While these musical acts are famous around the world, Sugar has said it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. At the same time, it's a bit pressuring to be called that. We are BTS. We want to be the BTS of the 21st century. The members themselves have always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. From their debut album, Too Cool For School, in 2013 to their most recent, Map of the Soul wow. 7. All seven members have contributed as either writers and or producers on every album. All of BTS are associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. And as of August 2020, J-Hope, Suga, and RM were all promoted to full members of the association. They even create music that's released for free on SoundCloud as gifts to their fans. Much of their work touches on subjects like mental health, youth and female empowerment, child abuse, cyberbullying, self-love and development, and socioeconomic injustices. Wow. Much of their work is also inspired by past writers and thinkers. Their latest series, Map of the Soul, incorporates psychological concepts by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung. 
BTS is not afraid to use their platform to amplify underrepresented voices and issues, taking numerous risks with their career while receiving backlash from people in power. BTS are also as charitable as they are talented. Throughout the years, members have been donating individually and as a group. BTS rarely publicize donations, so fans often find out about them if media organizations uncover the details. One of BTS's few public announcements was in November 2017 for their Love Myself campaign. They partnered with UNICEF to create a campaign aimed at protecting children and teenagers from around the world with the hope of making the world a better place through music. BTS and their company, Big Hit Entertainment, pledged 500 million Korean won and donated 3% of the income from the sales of physical albums of the Love Yourself series along with six other fundraising initiatives, including the Love Myself merchandise, where 100% of its proceeds were pledged to the cause. The Love Yourself series, which contained three albums total, sold over 7 million copies worldwide. On September 24, 2018, BTS was invited to deliver a speech about the Love Myself campaign at the United Nations General Assembly. On January 15, 2020, Formula E announced their partnership with BTS to help combat climate change. On June 3, 2020, BTS tweeted their support for Black Lives Matter, a few days later, Variety reported that BTS and Big Hit Entertainment had donated $1 million to support the Black Lives Matter movement. When armies got wind of the news, they matched their $1 million wow. donation in one day. Now, these are just a couple of their acts of charity. With their socially conscious music, BTS created a new fandom culture that brings together fans from different national and racial identities. This led to the emergence of bilingual ARMY volunteers who translated BTS Korean lyrics and videos in their language almost re Oh man. I don't know if it was the piano that just hit me, but I'm going to say something really cheesy. <clears throat> I just went through that spread and they're talking about the Love Myself campaign and the climate change and the donations to Black Lives Matter and the messages and, you know, the female empowerment, the mental health and um, my heart is really full. You know, hearing about the people volunteering, the translations, trying to get the messages out. It's that sense of community and family that makes ARMY what it is. And I say that from, you know what? I'm not going to say that from an outsider's point of view. I'm going to say that as someone who is now in the circle. I'm here. I think there's a way to register as ARMY, I've heard. I don't know. I don't know what the process is, what the... If I have to submit a memo to somebody, but I have to say that this has been quite a journey for me already, and I'm only just a few songs and episodes into this thing and this type of just this type of love that just gets spread around and positivity and you know like I say this in the comments all the time we're all in this together I, I some of you have caught the thing that I've started saying lately which is hey welcome to the big comfy couch because you know I kind of said I wanted this to feel like there's this big gigantic couch and every subscriber is sitting on it and we're just like watching TV together and hanging out and I want that to feel this way and that is representative of how I think this should be and I don't mean just like this journey with me on YouTube and you watching and us interacting in the comments I mean like life I know that's a really deep comment to make before the sun's even really up but 
I just feel like we should all be in this together. Matter of fact, if you can see, how do I show you this? If you can see this right here, the tree of life, my tattoo here. That can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. The reason I got this and the reason I got it the way that I did, the way that the roots and everything's twisted and intertwined and goes up into the branches. Like for me, that was also symbolic of the fact that we are all in this together. Life, we are in this together. There's going to be differences, but no matter what, we are all intertwined and connected. And for me, that's, I feel like that's just, uh, that's a way to live. It's a way to be empathic, a way to understand each other. And yes, we will have arguments, we will fight, but at the core of it, we are all in this together. I'm going to turn off the cheesy and cliche now, but I had to at least take that moment and kind of process that because that hit me hard real time, making the content immediately available to non-Korean speakers. We may all speak different languages, but their music and their message connected people from around the world with different ethnicities, background, gender, and age. BTS has also expressed their love and respect for ARMY countless of times, such as always mentioning them first during speeches, responding- oh, that just gave me chills. Oh, what is happening? I want to hear that again. Such as always mentioning them first during speeches, responding to fans on their social media app, Weaver, showing their appreciation for army projects, halting rehearsals for the Muslim prayers in Saudi Arabia, the youngest member, Jungkook, even got the fandom name tattooed on his hand. Wow. Together with ARMY, they grew as individuals and as artists. Wow. Their love for ARMY has also helped them decide on re-signing another seven-year contract with Big Hit Entertainment. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. What are these things? Everybody's got these little crystal balls. Like everybody's got them. Do they hand these out at concerts? I know it's not the point of this moment, but. So while people are. Is that how they did the lights? Oh, what?
I'm trying to think of logistically how this works because that aerial shot from what I'm assuming was a drone, the wave of light, and then it spelled out army. There's no way that many people are getting together and properly like, okay, I'm the corner of the B, I'm going to stand. No way. Right, so these are like programmed or Bluetooth to one another. Wow. That's so clever. on re-signing another seven-year contract with Big Hit Entertainment. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. So while people often discredit BTS's talent, likening their popularity to superficial aspects that come with the image of a boy band, it is their development of personalities and sincerity towards their art and their fans that made their fandom the size and reach that it has become. I hope people will come to realize that BTS is more than just their singing and their dancing skills. They're not just performers, but artists who have healed and inspired millions of people around the world. For a deeper dive into BTS, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay updated. We're also working on more video projects and a website, so stay tuned. Wow. First, massive amount of respect to Celeste for putting this together. It's so well done. And I mean, it's informative. You know, I, I learned a ton, but you got me. You got me a couple times. Oh, man. The piano. Ooh, you got me. <sighs> My brain is going 100 miles an hour right now. There's so much that I want to say. and I'm not going to apologize because I feel like I do that a lot. I'm not going to apologize for being quiet through most of this because there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of story that's being told and I know there's so much more. But like there's part of me that's literally just feeling what is happening. You may or may not be able to hear it, but my voice is cracking a little bit right now. This part where each of the guys, oh man, this part, I've heard this, I've read this quote you guys have told me about from RM, and when he talks about if we can less that to 99, 98, 97, and you talk about the impact had on the, you know, uh, just the people around you, your environment, that is massive, that really resonates with me. But when each of the members are talking about them loving their job and why they do what they do, again, that resonates for me. When I left high school, I joined the U.S. Marine Corps. And then right after the Marine Corps, I started a job as a teacher, as an instructor, to teach people how to protect themselves in, you know, uh, dangerous areas or dangerous situations. And as a Marine, you don't get a lot of usable skills that you can bring out to the real world. Well, as the type of Marine that I was, you know, kicking indoors and shooting guns and stuff like that, um, that was a, a very long time ago, very different life for me. But to take those skills and then say, okay, well, what, how can I make an impact on my world, on my environment? That's how I decided to do that. And I've been teaching for 20 plus years now. And teaching, the, also that goes into the movie making that I talk about. It's that visual storytelling. It's a way to take the information that I have and my experiences and then be able to translate them out into a way that you understand. The way that these guys all talk about loving what they do and 
seeing the response in the viewers' faces. Viewers, recipients, army, I mean, this is subtle note, the little lights that I asked about, I don't know what you call them. I know you all will tell me there's got to be a name. The little lights, yeah, it's it's a cool effect. The lights travel and, you know, the colors change and it's exciting. If you think about it, that is a way for the for the audience to communicate back to the artist. That's a reciprocal relationship. And that in and of itself has been proven by the fact that these guys are doing the streaming. They're doing the interactions with the fans back and forth and all the things that you all have told me in terms of showing up at somebody's house for dinner. So that was a comment that somebody told me about and I thought that was the, the coolest thing. But it's reciprocal. How many artists have you seen that it's not reciprocal? It's a show. You get to see the show. And there are pieces of their career where, yes, they did something that was really cool or they did something that was like a fun gesture, but you kind of get to learn who the celebrities are, who the artists are that really go out further to do something for their audience. The first one that comes to mind, and I know there's a lot more, the first one that comes to mind is Chris Pratt. Who will do? Who will dress up as his character from Guardians of the Galaxy and go into you know children's hospitals things like that? That is the kind of impact that we need more of. This is the kind of message that we need more of, and it's so apropos right now. It's so appropriate that J Hope's name is on the screen right now. I love what I do, and I love what I do. That is the reason that. I am so in love with this journey and why it's so important to me that this giant comfy couch has all of us. I love the reciprocal relationship that has occurred on my channel so far from just me experiencing this and you experiencing it with me. I'm extremely grateful for that. I'm extremely grateful that you all have been very welcoming. You've been very honest. You've been very knowledgeable. And you can see how much enjoyment I get out of this. Hopefully you understand how much enjoyment I get out of this relationship being reciprocal. I know there will come a time when the audience is so big that I can't respond to you all. And I know you all keep telling me, that's fine. We get it. We know that time will come. But understand that I will, when that time comes, and I feel like it's going to, the way that this has been going for the last four weeks, I can only hope that I will be able to reciprocate in the same fashion that these guys have done with the what I'm assuming is billions of people that love them and care about them and their message and man I have so much to say and it's, I'm literally just like rambling at this point I don't even know if this is making sense but it's a great documentary I'm going to watch the other two I don't know when that's going to be it might be tomorrow uh, it might be later today I have no idea but this was awesome. And I feel like I do have a better understanding of them, a little bit of their journey. Um, somebody had said in the comments, and again, I'm gonna pull this up, I apologize. I don't like to access my phone because it's rude. But somebody said, the Asian theory doc is how they became BTS. Ida S's video is who they are. I think that's the seven members, right? And then Celeste's documentary is why. 
Each one touches on the other, but I believe this is the best explanations of those videos. So thank you, Sin Sin, for that comment. That really did help. And I don't know why I was drawn to this. I mean, obviously it spoke to me. I kind of had to, I kind of had to keep my composure a little bit, which don't get me wrong. I'm not against falling apart on camera. Let me throw that out right now. Challenge accepted. I know how y'all are thinking. But for me in this, yeah, it hit me, but it, it didn't feel like a fall apart kind of moment. You know, I want to keep my composure because I want to say what I want to say and not get obnoxious. Well, more obnoxious than I am or can be. But this, this was great. And... Thank you all for sharing it. Thank you all for joining me and sitting on the couch with me. There is a lot more to come. For those of you that are new to this channel, like I am, it's been a month. Um, thank you. Thank you for, for joining me on the couch. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm very grateful. I'm very appreciative. I'm very humbled. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Much love. Look out for each other. Wow. You got me, Celeste. You got me.